Today we're opening a $75 Legendary Collection versus a $150 Legendary Collection. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. We previously did the $75 versus $250 Legendary Collection. It was pretty close, like they were both pretty evenly matched, surprisingly. This time we're doing $700, or not $750, $75 versus $150. So we have Legendary Collection Joey's World, which only came in first edition, by the way. So this one's unlimited and this one is first edition. They never made a reprint of this one. Probably will at some point, so we will see which one is better. But before that, the giveaway, I'll be giving away these three cards. Silent Swords in level 3, Mystic Swords in level 6, and the Forceful Century. Just like this video, be subscribed, let me know which you think will be better, and let's get into it. Let's start off by checking out the game boards. We have Legendary Collection 2, the Dual Academy Years cardboard, game board, not cardboard, also cardboard. It's the biggest deal anywhere. The biggest deal. Now it's $75, not the biggest deal, but it does have Raphael. 58 cards in all, including 28 foil cards. Very cool. In the back, you have the mats, you have the five packs, you have three Dark Lord cards, you have seven new Ultra Rares, new at the time, maybe, and then three Sacred Beasts. Let's open this thing up, let's get these out, and then we'll get into the Joey's World. This one is pretty cool, and it is treated super well. We open the binder and the game board recently for this and it has been insane like we've pulled really good stuff Raphael Lord of Phantasms there's four packs then we have five and we have the Raphael the Raviel the Ravioli whatever you want to call them and of course the game board is inside here then we have Legendary Collection for Joey's World. This is one of the first products I bought. Not the first, because you guys know I bought that uh, Yugi's World box. No, the Yugi's box and the Kaiba Collector box. Whatever those things were called, we bought those. But this was soon after, because, of course, Joey throwback. It has the Blue Flame Swordsman, which is incredible. The goats are in here, I think. So we get five packs. We get six. Are they goats or are they uh, sheep tokens? I, they're very similar. I don't really know. And then there are these three cards. So let's open this up. Get our five packs out. There's some really, really good cards you can pull in here as well. Just the reprints they absolutely kill these game board editions if you guys remember the kaiba one that one was awesome as well so maybe we'll open that one at some point i don't currently have that one so hopefully we can get that and do that in the future so inside we have our four packs and then there's another one with our blue flame swordsman over here we of course have the game board inside let's check out this blue flame swordsman he looks absolutely amazing now let's open our 10 packs and see which is better make sure to let me know in the comments which you think will be better first legendary collection two this has not let us down we have been very very lucky with these we have the h heated heart six samurai yoriza elemental hero thunder giant Elemental Hero Phoenix Enforcer. Yeah, yeah, we did two from the back last time. Phoenix Enforcer is very cool. So we have a Voltic. Stratos again as a common. This is like worth a little bit because it is a very nice card. Phoenix Enforcer is very cool. Not the uh, Destroy Phoenix Enforcer, unfortunately, but it's very cool. Dest the Darkness Destroyer. So not the Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, but the Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, Magical Mallet. That's a cool card. And Elemental Hero Poison Rose. Good start. Not the not the best start, but solid start, I would say. So Stratos is very good. I think that, I mean, I don't know about that Darkness Destroyer. I don't know if I've ever seen that card, actually. That's kind of cool to actually see. Okay. What can Joey's World do for us? Haven't opened this in a while, so this is pretty exciting. Hunting Instinct. Yeah, Dinosaurs. Panther Warrior. We got the Coffin Sella. I'm sure we'll be able to talk like Joey a few times because there are vanillas with the Joey speaking text, which is amazing. Gravekeeper's Visionary. Should be a secret rare next. No, an ultra rare black horn, horn, little black horn of heaven. We got this as a secret rare last time out of Yugi's world, I think. Oh, oh, it's a spell. Scapegoat. Oh, that is amazing looking. Wow. Scapegoat. Someone argues this looks better than the ultimate rare printing, which I think may be true. Hysteric. Pa oh, hysteric party. That's pretty good as well. And then vampire lord. Lady. That's not a lord. On to the next pack. So far, pretty good cards. Scapegoat, we have pulled some absolutely fire old school cards out of these legendary collections. In this video, and the last, if you missed it, check it out. We have the Crystal Beast Amethyst Cat. Miracle Hits. Neospatian Aqua Dolphin. Rainbow Gravity. Destiny Hero, a Doom Lord. The Elemental Hero, Terra Firma. This is the one that people thought was Frieza on Master Duel. This is not Frieza. This is Elemental Hero, Terra Firma. Very cool, though, still. So is this going to be Seeker Rare? Uh, Synchro? Wait, they had Synchros? Oh, Dark and Dragon. I actually need one of these for Edison. I have one, but I think the Secret Rare looks better, so we might keep this. Cyber Valley, that's pretty cool. And Elemental Hero Ocean. I did not even know that they had Synchros in that set. Okay, that's cool. Uh, That threw me off. I was like, wait, 
I, I I honestly forgot that a synchro was a white card. I was like, what is what is this? Like, is this like a token or something? I, like, it threw me off that much. That, that's just wild. Okay, there's a Jurassic World ghoul. Let's see what else. Shadow ghoul, 100 for each monster in your graveyard. We got the volcanic eruption. Jurassic World, survival instinct. Siriaru, Siriaru, chain destruction. We have. This will be the ultra. It's an effect monster. Harpy Dancer. That's actually a pretty good card. Okay, this got a uh, Lost Art reprint, so that's pretty cool. Then, oh, it's a trap. Please be solemn judgment. Oh, Torrential Tribute. Okay, wow. Joey's World and a Hysteric Party. Wow, that's, that's two Hysteric Party and two packs. This, Joey's World's not letting us down at all. Wow, four packs. It's only four packs. All those banger pulls in four packs. This is pretty amazing. Let's see what we can do. Can Legendary Collection 2 pull away? Gladiator Beast and all. Very cool. Wait, this doesn't have weird Joey text, does it? No. D4, it has to be one of his specific cards. Hero Barrier. Elemental Hero Lady Heat. Hero Ring. That is a very cool looking card. I think this was first in a Duelist pack. Maybe it was Jaden, probably. That looks incredible. I love that card. Gallus the Star Beast. Okay, that's cool as well. Seeker Rare. Elemental Hero Chaos Neos and Gladiator's Respite. Okay, that one was a little bit underwhelming compared to the other ones. I like that Hero Ring, though. That looks really, really cool. Now we're on to the Joey's world. It's Joey himself. Joey Wheel. He's going to open up this pack. We got the Reborn Zombie. So we go like this. We go Zoa. Barrel Dragon. Reborn Zombie. Ancient Tool. A destructive machine discovered in the ruins of the Ancients. I have never seen this card. Was this like one of the ones they got from the OCG and just first printed it here? Or was it a TP card? Seismic Shockwave. Very cool. Beast of Talwar. That's also very cool. Treated as an Archfiend card. They added that in this, I think. And then... Stray Lamb. So there's the Lamb. So they might answer our question that they're not goats. They're lambs. And here we go. Okay, it's an effect monster. Here we go. What could it be? Joey's World. Ooh, Snow on Light of Dark World. And Baby Dragon. That is awesome. Much more than just a child. This dragon is gifted with untapped powers. He's not just a child. I love that. That's so awesome. And Snow is a very cool card for the Dark Worlds. Uh, it's very, very usable in Dark World and very nice looking. Legendary Collection 2. Let's go. Let's do this. This is see, feels like it's neck and neck again. This is so many good pulls. We got a Hero Blast. Mizuki, that's a very good zombie card. We're going to pull that out for sure. We've got the Hero Mask. So there he is. That's the Hero Mask, you know. Batman's Mask. Crystal Beast, Amber Mammoth. Phenomenon, the King of Poisonous Snakes. We haven't pulled a Joey card yet. Ooh, Skyscraper 2, Hero City. That is beautiful. And Jane Lightsworn Paladin. More of the Lightsworns. You'd love to see that. That really shines with that secret. That looks awesome. Okay, that is amazing. And then the card, card Trooper. That's another good card, actually. Three more packs. This is... Man, these are so fun. It always feels like you get so many good cards. But, of course, they are pretty expensive now. That's probably why it feels like that. But I guess back then it still felt pretty good. Even when they first came out. I was I was around for when Joey was, like, first coming out. So I guess that's the only one I really experienced to be early on. Okay, Lava Battle Guard. Magical Stone Excavation. Drop off. Maximum six. I always thought this was a weird card. I think it's Light of Destruction it's from. Giafri, the Iron Knight, Joey Wheel. Shane Destruction and Ultra Rare. Horn of, <laughs> Horn of Heaven. Great, Horn of Heaven. Awesome. All right, let's see if we can get a better secret. Effect. Oh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Yep, that's a good one. Red Eyes Darkness Metal and a Harpy Lady one. We're getting a lot of Harpy stuff. That's a very sweet card. Yes. This just got reprinted, I think, in, what was it? Maximum Gold El Dorado with an alternate art as well. That's a sweet pull. Okay, two more packs. This is going pretty well, I think. All right. Let's see the last punch for GX. Feather Wind. O Oversoul. The Spock Blaster. Elemental Hero Wild Heart. Non-fusion area. Elemental Hero Phoenix Enforcer strikes again. Will it be another destroyer guy? Uh, Destiny Hero Destroyer or whatever. Here we go. Oh, Neos Alias. Okay, that's a pretty one as well. That looks amazing. These secrets look good out of the GX one. 
And a crystal tree. Okay, that's not too exciting, but still pretty cool. Final pack of the video. Legendary Collection, Joey's World. Let's see if Joey can beat the GX. Is he more powerful than what came after him, I should say? All right, even though his Legendary Collection came second, but Joey was before <laughs> GX came out, I guess. All right, so we did. Overpowering Eye. Let's see. Fossil Excavation. Graceful Dice. The Dice. All right, Shadow Tamer. Here we go. Can we get one of those Joey cards? Oh, it's a magic card. Cool. Zombie World. Okay, that's pretty good. Zombies are very strong. And... Oh, Kavazals! It's one of the vanillas, but it's not the one that has Joey text. Hysteric Party for the third time? Are you serious? That's wild. Okay, we got a play set of those. That's cool. An Ultra Evolution pill. Overall, I think another close battle. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and like the video for more epic content because we'll be opening more epic stuff like this in the future. Shout out to TC, Trusted Card, Stonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Stanley, Mike, Nance, Mimic, Echo, Spanky McFarland, G Raider, and Daxter. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.